I definitely need to move these monitors closer next time. But I'm getting old, I can't look so far. Good, so both teams are loading, it seems. Uh, nobody seems to have a problem. Currently on team Zolo Zelda, Zell, Rhino, Cobra, Vox, Warhead, no surprise. Vox was taken immediately in and Cobra was replaced uh, as an assassin. We have Rhino and Vox double combo. It's going to be very interesting. Warhead Blitz, the Sima, Ryodo and Bulwark on Team Steamroller. Very curious how this is going to play out. They're trying, it looks like they're trying to be more aggressive, having good unlocked. engages. So as long as they are aggressive enough, they could stop Zolo Zelda in their first moves. On the right side we have Zolo Zelda. The Cobra is moving bot lane on Cobra. Super Galaxy is moving bot lane, taking capture the bottom watchtower. We have the same lineup. Oh no, actually B3 is taking warheads this time. Silent Burp is playing on uh, Bulwark. Mr. Terminator has Blitz. Regal is on Rio and the Sima is played by no heal. For you, Super Galaxy, Rumble on Cobra, Resurrect, Resorg on Vox, Tactics on Rhino, X Rumbo on Zell, and Ale Venom again on Warheads. No early engages currently. Pushing mid lane immediately. What will be the response of Steamroller? How will they counter? Uh, how will they make sure that this game will be taken by Zell? Very aggressive play, miss however by his bowler, sadly couldn't do more damage. Now Zell is defending against two, but two with short range, he's doing a lot of damage. Stop, Tactics is already going in into Blitz, very good engage, but the stun was hitting hard. Now heal is blocking any shots, Blitz <laughs> by great support of no heal managed to survive this. All three of them were catched by the stun of the Sima and couldn't finish off Blitz. Blitz is healing up again. Drones are now respawned. Vox is pushing. No heal. And uh, the Terminator is going against Vox. They're trying to get, make the game happen. Cobra is now coming in, trying to support. They're still trying to do some damage. Ryu at the same time pressuring. Ale Venom Regal is avoiding his route by moving back in time. Tactics is just waiting to engage top again. Two versus three currently. No heal is engaging. However, Vox Vox is currently fungi, uh, doing a little bait, they're losing a lot of health, but the Sima is going down. Now bot lane, Regal is diving deep into the tower, they want to get Eleven and down. Won't work out however, so they need to split up the damage, he's dropping very low, but his but his uh, medkit is still up, so at the same time Attila John top is taken down, not true immediately, Bulwark are coming in, they're doing a lot of damage, no Kia and Bulwark are currently fighting, Mr. Terminator is coming in, will he be able to finish, yeah, well, one is finished up, second one is finished up, third is finished up, this was a huge price to pay for the attempt to take Attila John, this was very good by Team Steamroller, Zolo Zelda was stopped, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You need to find the openings where they're going and encounter them so they can't do it. Bot lane still being pressured a lot. Steamroller currently with so much pressure, but they still can't take down. He is one today and he's taking him down. B3, very bold move. He dived very deeply, immediately trying to utilize the advantage by taking down a Tujon. But Rhino is coming in. Both both Sentinels are rather low, but they will get the med kit. So they will heal up again a little bit. Attila John on bot lane pushing. Top lane, the Sima and Blitz are pushing. Actually, Razorek on Vox are pushing back. So currently, the, ha the game is in hands of Steamroller. They are currently the dominant force. But of course, no doubt that Zolo Zelda has all possibilities to come back. Two artillery Jones shooting, raining fire, raining fire on the uh, tower. However, both Sentinels, Regal and now here B3 had to pull back as they were dropping really low and they had to pick up their med kit to regain some heads. Koba is just lurking for the possibility to actually make a gank on top. Both teams equally in XP game and soon we will have the ultimates. Ale Venom a little bit out of position, needs to be careful. Regal is trying to get into him and slow him, but he moves out of the distance fast enough. X Rambo in mid lane, completely out of position. He gets ganked and shot. No, he actually survives. Amazing, there was just a millimeter missing. Very good play by both teams. Good gank and a very good counter movement by Zell. I was surprised, I saw definitely he will go down and I was wrong. Bot tower pressured by Steamroller. They have the tower down already to 50%. 
Mid tower is still looking healthy. Top tower is damaged more than Steamroller's tower, where Steamroller had apparently a little engagement on top lane. Rhino is taking down Artillery John on the right side. My mouse is uh, hanging currently, sorry for that. Your ultimate is ready. Drone is being uh, destroyed, but not captured. So they are doing again what actually uh, Zolo Zelda is good at. They're trying to stop them on XP. Now this was actually Zolo Zelda. Miss Rio ultimate. Alevenen misses his route. Now he's a little bit out of position with him, but he will get away. Very good movement. He saw that actually the minions are coming in. They try to follow up on him, but they can't. At the same time, R R Cobra is coming in, taking down Riga. They're paying a high price for trying to pressure uh, the warhead. And I believe that actually now V3 is in trouble, avoiding the rocket very beautifully, but he's going down. The rest is moving in. What is the response now at the same time? Silent Burp is trying to push the mid lane as strong as possible to force them coming back to mid lane and not keeping uh, applying pressure on bot lane to give his team uh, the team members who died their time to come back. Seema and Blitz seem to be a good combination. Razorok can't really hold in back to bot. At the same time, Zolo Zelda is trying. At the last second, Silent Burp is going and his ultimate is still up. His ultimate is hitting this time. They are fighting, however, two versus with this, uh, with this three, four, actually, but they have managed to take down the artillery, the, the tank drone, and the Sima is coming in from the side, gets annihilated by Super Galaxy. Good ultimate by no kill. The Zolo Zelda has to run there in a bad position, fighting at a disadvantage. So they're pulling back. This team fight was won by Steamroll and they're trying to utilize their tank drone in mid lane by pushing mid lane and doing as much damage as possible. Tactics has his med kit up but he is a little bit still low. He needs to be careful. Then again he's a tank. Top box is moving into mid lane. He will engage. They need to be careful. The information needs to go out that he is actually there. He's going in. Now actually Steamroller is in trouble. Good Wombo combo here by Team Zolo, Zelda and uh, Team Steamroller. However, loses only one Sentinel. Bulwark managed to get away at the same time. What is Mr. Terminator doing? He's still mm, he's passive staying and waiting uh, for the next move of uh, Team Zolo Zelda, which I think is a good decision. He shouldn't try to take uh, on um, uh, uh, Vox. Vox is very strong in one versus one, so good decision. Both teams playing amazing play currently. Five kids versus four kids for a team. Zolo Zelda. And, uh, but both teams very dangerous. Steamroller had a good moment. Uh, hopefully uh, they can utilize it and hopefully Zolo Zelda gets uh, into an advantage again. I'm trying to be neutral for both teams. Bola misses. Zell is avoiding him. He's still trying to stay in distance. He's trying to push. Tactics is coming in. Bulwark a little bit in trouble now. Followed by Cobra but ultimate miss. Uh, but the stun dagger missed from Cobra. They're focusing, however, the wrong person. They need to go. Oh, and beautiful snipe again by X Rambo, annihilating Bulwark in his tracks to run to safety. Mid lane, Blitz is moving in. Mr. Terminator is coming in. He's trying to make a play that they can't focus on Rhino. Rhino is the wrong person to focus. Zell and Cobra are doing damage from behind while Rhino is just taking the damage. So at the same time, Warhead is coming in, he's doing significant damage, but the tank drone needs to go down as fast as possible and uh, Blitz isn't really the best character to push back. Cobra misses his stun again, but it's not really bad, not really really a big deal as they're still taking down. B3 out of position gets taken down. He should never try to flank there, even though Cobra missed his stun. The tower, they took the tower and even they killed two sentinels down currently. They're trying, Steamroller is trying to go for Tank drawn his bull bolas are missing a little bit. Mr. Temet is actually waiting to engage, but now they have to pull back because they have no vision. There technically could be even more waiting for them. And this is the case. Three Zolo Zelda are currently waiting. Cobra is going in his stun. This time hit the Sima good ultimate stun by Bulwark to buy himself time, but Vox is currently blocking any engage on those soft targets at the same time on bot lane Ryu is getting taken down no his ultimate saves his sorry but he is managing to come away uh Ale venom beautiful blocks the tower damage so rhino can get away now what's the next move regal took the uh, his med kit again so his uh, uh, hp is regenerating they need to focus however on a till john a does more damage than those minions and at the same time, Zolo Zelda immediately taking 
down but artillery jones the comment was to take it down to capture it even and we're having another little team fight still silent burp and the sima are still waiting in the shadows seeing trying to get into control of this area they're trying to protect their artillery zone but team steamroller lost their edge a little bit they are currently on its back step i need to find an opening again to get back up front again But then again pushed uh, getting damaged by uh, artillery drone however the artillery drone is locked on on oh, a good engage there by rio is going deep however i think he's actually his stun completely missed now rhino is taking most of the damage three guy is trying to block they need to separate because of warhead ulti but now the counter ulti he's barely surviving he needs to pull back he's very low he needs to be careful not to get engaged he not sure he has his med kit up so he can regenerate, but he is still very low. Careful for burst damage in this very moment. Rio is trying to engage right now, who was already stepping back. And now the artillery drone is actually needs to take damage. At the same time, we had a team fight. We lost the Sima and Bulwark in the top area of the map. And of course, immediately Zolo Zelda is going for the Drake by allowing Vox to tank it. Currently, still Cobra is tanking it. They are porting back from bot lane as they know. The Drake now is a big target, and by taking the artillery drone, Team Steamroller can't react to the Zolo. Zelda will take down the Drake, and there's nothing which Team Steamroller currently can do to um, deny this. Let's see how they're managing to get into the team fight. They're taking down artillery. I think they shouldn't capture that, and they should wait a little bit to know the positioning and take it when. Drake is nearby, so they have a falling off. This, uh, this tank drone was taken a little bit too early. At the same time, they're splitting up. Bot lane is getting pushed by Elevenom. The action is going crazy. The tower is going down. Good engage by Regal, but couldn't be followed up by Warhead. Elevenom should be able to get away. Very good placement of uh, his roots. However, B3 misplaced a little bit. On the Venom was able to catch him. They're still onto him. There is no help coming in for Warhead and team Zolo Zelda is one sentinel down at the same time Zolo the steam roller lost the Seema in mid lane and they could have really needed this sentinel advance and base advantage to protect against Iron Whip just waiting around the laser barrier he wants to go in his ultimate is ready and up they are trying to get damage done on the Drake B3 uh, is completely focusing there is the ultimate very good ultimate they're stopping their engage actually so nothing can be done however now Vox is going in with a silence he can regenerate a lot but he's not really good against the uh, steamroller is still strong the Seema's ultimate makes allows them for so much sustain now they are following up they are trying to hunt them down one sentinel down for team Zolo Zelda Drake will go down without doing too much damage there was a very beautiful uh, this very beautiful defense by team steamroller they are showing why they're one of the top teams and absolutely fantastic play even though Team Zolo Zelda had an advantage in XP. They didn't manage to utilize the team fight correctly. Resurrect now in a little bit of trouble. He, however, can't be stopped. So he is escaping. And let's see if uh, Team Steamroller managed to utilize this uh, pressure now against the tower. The tower, however, is on full, on full, on full, uh, on full HP. And they're going strong into the tower. They're trying to damage it. A lot at the same time Cobra pushed the lane on top lane so but now mid lane is getting pressured we lost two sentinels on steamroller side and one sentinel on sen uh, on uh, Zolo Zelda's side they are trying now to utilize their advantage trying to follow up slow by Zell allowing now Cobra and Warhead to come in on no key he's just running away gets sniped by Zell ulti and now we have three sentinels down they are in trouble team Zolo Zelda will try to push mid lane as hard as possible they have even the tank to I believe this tower will eventually go down now with the next push blitz on top lane who tried to push back cobras push uh, against minions which i think was a misdecision by the leader there in the team minions aren't doing that much damage he should have been with his team in mid lane now tower tier 2 tower is going down in mid lane so solo zella is advancing further two levels advantage currently brought artillery drone is still up and can be taken down by solo zelda what is the response actually from team simdora to nearly three minutes the, the Drake needs time to regain two at uh, two sentinels are moving down from steamroller bulwark and rio they need to know that they're actually going for it he can't engage this is very dangerous they're trying to protect the sea tactics being low and they're trying to secure 
the Azerbaijan, which they managed to do. And actually, wow, they too are breaking. They are, they are, they are onslaught. But however, the whole enemy team now is moving in, wiping them away from the map. I think it was the right call to go in, but the team should have been closer. The timings were a little bit of similar on the back track. We need to be careful not to get ganked there. Warhead a little bit still out of position. He's getting pushed in. He's getting slowed. He's getting shot at. Poor guy. He's going down. Mr. Terminator uh, uh, arriving. Arriving. And trying to protect as well. But we have currently issues. So bot lane is getting pushed by Zolo Zelda. I'm not sure how Team Steamroller can defend this. Three Sentinels down. The bot tower will go most likely down as well. There's not much they can do. Five seconds at least. Still, there is any form of defense with Bulwark and Ryu is back in the game. Bot tower is going down to tier 2 top. Are going down and it doesn't help that the artillery drone is actually shooting at the tower of course. Well, it helps a little bit but the top bottom tower isn't protected at all and the artillery drones will spawn now. Four teams solo that as the artillery drone goes down by minion onslaught. They will take another drone but actually team steam roller shows how to disengage, how to fight against team solo that I think the general strategy is very good. They broke in execution at one or two points. I think splitting up at certain position was definitely a bad call and um, not sure, uh, yeah, not sure what happens there. You don't need to defend a line against minions. This is just something you don't need to do. So, uh, top lane, Artillery Drone out of position, uh, being taken down by Steamroller. Uh, not much they can currently do against it. They're trying to protect it, they're trying to clear the waves. They need to be careful not to get flanked, however, by Team Zolo Zelda. Bulwark is checking out the mid lane. They had control over the Watchtower, so they saw them coming in. They saw clear, had a clear vision. And let's see if they will search the team fight. They are, however, two levels behind. Team Zolo Zelda is moving on top as the drag will be there in 15 seconds again. What will be the engage? Completely out of position there. Super Galaxy Rumble is completely out of position on Cobra, but however, they can't move in fast enough to stop him. This would have been an advantage which they could have needed to take down Drake, but he escapes before they can take him down. They're moving already on top lane. They know that they will want to go for Drake very soon. Atelier Drone is currently pushing. They don't have a vision on the Watchtower, so it's very hard to see actually from their point of view where the enemy is. And they're just waiting. Very good positioning there. But of course, both teams know what's going on. Zulu Zelda is playing on time right now, as they know that bot and top tower is pushed in. They need to defend against it, and this moment is the go to go for Drake. Team Steamroller at this position already moving back. I think this is very risky, but what can they do? They need to defend against, against all two pushes, and uh, the Drake will be taken down again for Team Zulu Zelda. And I believe this could be the final push. Two levels ahead for Team Zulu Zelda. It will be very difficult to push it back again please focus at the drone first you don't need to bother with the little drones as they are barely doing any damage there are shields for that that's why those towers have shields so team solo that are just waiting for the next engage riga needs to be careful not to run into them <clears throat> i'm surprised actually to see riga on rio instead of cobra or someone else now they're trying to snipe to catch up in XP but completely out of position base 3 and uh, they're getting engaged very strongly the Seema ulti won't most likely save some very good for use usage of the laser barrier and now actually we see it dropping very low team solo zelda but the last edge is just missing if this would have been an equally level equally fight team steamroller would have won it in this case set is they're losing it there is a hq is in free fall now he can do anything to stop this on so the drake is at full hp this game will go towards solo zelda very well played for steamroller i think they just made some little mistakes some judgment calls which were just wrong otherwise i think they would have uh, looked better in this game so sorry for steamroller that it didn't win that it didn't work out uh, uh, again those boys are really fighting for a win and for a place for the games gone of course uh, team solo that deserves a place as well those guys are amazing players uh, i personally know all the players i'm a big fan of every single one of those so congratulations to solo zelda 
Congratulations as well to uh, Team Steamroller for the second place. Those definitely amazing.